Today we're gonna to talk about pond startups, putting a skimmer on a rigid pond, and green ponds. Hey, the first question we have today comes from a Scott Larson, and uh, his question is, he must be redoing a pond. He's, uh, he's almost completed his uh, dedicated koi pond. Congratulations on that. And what's happening is he wants to know, I guess he has all of his fish stored in one pond, and when he puts the new fish into his new dedicated koi pond, he wants to know if he should be putting the pond water into the pond. I think it's a great question because I get it asked a lot. Well, I think there's a myth involved here. A lot of people think that there's all this beneficial activity happening in the water. Well, I want to take the water from this, you know, aquarium or pond or whatever and put it into this pond because it'll kickstart it with all this, this bacteria and such. But the bacteria is not swimming around in the water. The bacteria is attached to walls, it's attached to stone, it's attached to filtration and media and so forth. So the, the real question is, if you had, say, gravel in that pond, and I know you have a dedicated koi pond, so that's not gonna happen, but I'm using this as a reference. If you had a pond with some gravel in it as an ecosystem pond, if you took some of that gravel and put it into the new pond, it would help to inoculate that pond and get it kick-started. If you have a filter on, on the pond that you are storing the fish in while you're doing the retrofit, that filter, you wanna take some of that media from the filter and put it into the pond, because that's what's gonna help kick-start the pond and get it all going. You do want to use that water that the koi fish are in to help acclimatize the fish from the old pond water to the new pond water. So that's the real benefit to using some of that pond water. So if you have a big bowl, you scoop up the fish, you put it into the new pond, and you blend some of the new pond water into the old pond water, and it goes from there. Now, uh, one thing I want to throw in before we, we move on to another question is, you know, that pond water, I'm assuming it's in pristine condition because if it's in bad condition, I want to get the fish out of there as soon as possible and put them in the new, fresh, clean water. So there's a little curveball on that. So it's all going to be dependent on that, how clear, clear and clean that water is. But I want you to know that the beneficial bacteria is not swimming around in that pond water, okay? So we're going to move on to the next question. Um, I have a Ricardo Lamalai, and he wants to know if he can put a pond skimmer on a rigid pond. You know this, I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about those preformed ponds. There's a lot of different kinds that are out there. There's square ones, there's you know tubs, all kinds of stuff. And yes, you can put a skimmer on those. There's um, a lily pond skimmer. It's very similar to the helix skimmer where it's out in the middle of the pond and it's floating, a floating weir in a small container. We've actually made some custom helix ones, the big, big bodied ones where we can capture a lot of debris. Those are for bigger prefabbed ponds. Um, what you would do is we would, we would have a bulkhead drilled through the side and then we would come through with a couple of plumbing fittings and we would have them, we would try and use all black fittings so it would blend into the pond and then you sweep it up and then it would be floating out there. So uh, we just did a retrofit on a pond that was about, oh gosh, the pond's probably a 30 year old concrete pond and it just had some fittings plumbed through the floor and the, the old way they used to do it, they would just suck all the water down to a PVC pipe and uh, the, the pipe would get all clogged up and jammed up with leaf debris. So we removed that system and we put in an elbow and we put in the floating skimmer and attached to that suction line. And now the client just does a, a weekly vacuum across the bottom of the pond to help keep the thing clear. But once again, once that skimmer comes on there, all the floating debris is going into the skimmer. So you're not having much settle down to the bottom of the pond. So it's a nice mixture like that. And it's a good question because I think I think every pond should have a skimmer of some sort if you can get it on there. And I, I know there's a couple of floating skimmers out on the market that, ha that are pump fed. If it's a very small, uh, rigid pond, you might consider going that route, but you can plumb in a, 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 an actual external pump and uh, floating skimmer. So that's a good question. I hope that answered it for you. And we're gonna move on to a, another question here. I uh, got this one off of Facebook from a Nick Vance. And uh, he has some green water problems. And I thought I'd like to address that. He, he cleaned his pond three weeks ago, and within two weeks, he couldn't see a foot into the water. Now, he went to a pond store, they recommended a product, and then they've been using the product, and he's, he believes that the pond water is actually getting worse. 
and I, I don't know what product he used. I don't know how old the pond is. So there's a, there's a couple factors, a little unknowns for me. So I'm kind of doing some speculating and guessing on this. But one important piece of information he put on here is he has a 7,000 gallon pond and he has a 5,500 gallon biofilter and currently he's not feeding the fish. So uh, I don't know if there's gravel in the bottom of the pond, a lot of little factors here, but when you tell me you have a 7,000 gallon pond but a 5,500 gallon biofilter, it's telling me that your biofiltration is smaller than it should be for this size pond. Now if it was an ecosystem pond, it had a lot of aquatic plants, and you were inoculating it with beneficial bacteria, there's gravel in the bottom of the pond, this pond can flip to be crystal clear. It's probably gonna take two to four weeks to make it happen. And um, so there's, there's kind of a factor there. But um, it's a good question because I want, you know, I think I, I mentioned to you in, in that post, I was responding, hey, are you using UV? And you said you were not using UV, and should I be using UV? So the answer to that question is, Possibly you should be using UV on this pond, especially since you have a bigger pond with a smaller biofilter. I think the UV filter would be a big benefit to you, especially help keep that water, you know, poppy and crystal clear. So there's a lot of factors you need to consider on this pond. But as I said, if it's an ecosystem pond, if you give it a little time, it'll probably flip. If you put the UV on there right now, you can get it to clear up right away. So I hope that answers your question. I am gonna recommend that you get a little bit more filtration on there and some aquatic plants. If I looked at the photograph, you're probably coming in out of a hard winter and maybe your plants aren't, aren't coming into season yet. Maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I would highly recommend that you have some good aquatic plant coverage in that pond and that'll help you get clear up as well. Okay, Nick, uh, good luck with that one. So my question of the day is gonna come back to you guys. I wanna know, and I need some details from you on this, okay? I wanna know, has your pond ever turned green? And if so, what did you do to clear it up and how long did it take? But I need a little bit of information about your pond. Is it an ecosystem pond with uh, technology helping manage the water? Is it um, a dedicated koi pond ecosystem? Well, give me all that information. Give me gallons, give me filters, give me some stuff to think about here. And then that way I can give you some good feedback. Okay, until next time, I'm Eric Triplett, The Pond Digger. And if you want me to answer your question on the show, you know how to do it. Hashtag Ask The Pond Digger, blast it on social media, and I'll hunt it down. I'll do my best to get it answered right here on the show. Oh, 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 oh,